Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Natural gas is finally showing some sort of reversal as yesterday the price did decide to start climbing as we go into April. There was a little bit of a pullback but now we are into a consolidation zone and especially in 12 hours we will be receiving the weekly natural gas storage report. This week it is expected to be negative 21B and on the other end Qatar Energy to hold 25% stake in gas growth integrated project in Iraq. Now that is a huge portion but before we get into that if you guys are here for the first time you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with natural gas scroll down tap the red subscribe button while you're there slap a like on the video it'll just help the YouTube algorithm push the video to more people so more people can stay up to date with what is happening with natural gas. Now a lot of people have asked me the question Sky how are we supposed to anticipate how the storage report will affect the price? Well there is a small way to see that now you guys can see that inside of March we were expected that the storage report is going to be in negatives what does that mean how much storage there is it's gonna go down now once we get into the middle zone of April it goes into positive that means the storage is going up and the country is actually starting to buy more natural gas when more is bought the demand will go up now if the negative is also high that means that there is more being used so the demand is high now what we want is right now as you guys can see as we're getting into the first week of april we're getting a significant dip in terms of how much natural gas is being used from the storage because more is started to be bought into the market as well now if it is higher so if it's expected to be negative 21b and it comes out to be negative 21 or 27 that means that it is going to have a positive impact on the price and pump it up that just means the demand is high if it's below the negative 21 so negative 15 that will have a negative impact on the price because there is less being used up just keep in mind there's a lot of factors that go into this but this is the most simplest way to see it and you guys can see that most of the countries stop buying natural gas around the December zone until March and then inside of April they start buying into natural gas again to store it for the next winter cycle and as you guys know that we are getting into April there will be more purchasing power coming in and that will increase the demand if the supply does not go up significantly or we see some sort of cut natural gas can have a huge pump and if you are a long trader I know you're very happy to to hear that hopefully this was clear enough for you guys to understand that the storage report is actually extremely important most of the time every single year it has followed the same trend which is in april most of the countries start filling up their storage the demand still stays up but you need to understand more and more being bought the demand even goes up more now the reason this information that came out is so big is the project involves investing about 10 billion to design construction facilities for recovering significant volume of gas throughout the region now Qatar energy is going to be holding one-fourth of the whole project and that is a country's project and seeing that such just one country is being one-fourth of the whole project is being held by one company is uh, interesting that's probably the best word to use it now talking about what is happening to the natural gas price so yesterday we know that we actually had quite a significant pump after that there were some people that decided to take profit which caused the price to come down slightly and then as you guys can see we have been in a consolidation zone now the red line that you see right now in this exact hour you guys can see it is not due to people selling or anything it is just a little bit of a consolidation consolidation zone so you don't have to worry about that right now but you can see that the pumps that we did receive was probably from a lot of buying power now the buying power is not just from retail investors or whales this is also going to include the government as you guys can see natural gas prices are slowly starting to pump back up and the super trend as you can see is flipped into an uptrend and now it is not slowing down anytime soon the only thing i can say is if you are a long trader and you want the price to go up 
let's just say the storage report this week will play the fuel in the fire type of thing if it is in your side where more is being used compared to what was expected the price will go up significantly and it will be very hard to slow it down anytime soon and as you can see the rsi line is very centered as well that means there is a lot of room for it to grow now personally i do see that natural gas price will be consolidating for a little over a week and after that once we are well into april and most of the countries will start filling up their storages we will be able to see the price keep pumping now japan wants a g7 agreement to accelerate the decarbonization efforts now japan wants to put this into perspective group of seven economy power to agree on accelerating the decarbonization efforts collaborate at the minister's meeting on the climate now they want to make sure that the climate is a little bit more taken care of as if we do not take any quick actions it will not be good energy security risk and resource poor japan has risen since russia's invasion to ukraine heightened the threat of supply disruption and they're obviously talking about natural gas supply being disrupted now g7 this will take a little bit but this is a small agreement that was put forward and i think it is important to mention another thing is natural gas features rally second day as market looks for a bullish storage print i mean everyone's expecting it to be doing well in the middle of march and also middle of april after March, as I mentioned, since April has started, most of the countries want to buy into it. And this is going to be the first report inside of April. So if we're not able to see some positive trend, that is why I keep mentioning it is going to be a really important report. Another thing is Pavilion ships first small scale LNG cargo to China. Now, this is really crazy because this is the first one that marks the delivery. This delivery further reinforces the energy commitment to enhance the Singapore position as the regional LNG hub. Now, this is going to have a very good impact on Singapore as well, because obviously, if this goes everything as plan then they will be able to make a lot of profit in the future energy trader gun war posters a record of 2.3 billion net profit in 2022 now that's a huge profit shows that there was a lot of people that were still buying natural gas but it was significantly lower compared to what it was before i mean compared to what it was before it was higher because obviously russia wasn't actually providing the natural gas so they had to look for a different resource or a different source the whole of the eu was very very trying to find a different route to get themselves natural gas and finally deadline for sale of foreign shares in russia's expanded russia has extended the deadline for the sale of foreign shares in russia's selking one oil and gas project in which mobile was a major investor according to the presidential published now this is really cool because this is expanded because Putin wants more people to invest or more overseas investors to invest into this project so they're able to make it even bigger. Now, left projects in Russia's federal due to Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, do want to stay up to date with everything, subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. I'm out. Peace.